हेलो एवरी वन नमस्कार वेलकम टू देंथ एपिसोड ऑफ सीजन थ्री ऑफ मनी एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी आई एम अशोक व्यास प्रोग्राम डायरेक्टर विद आई टी वी गोल्ड एंड फाउंडर ऑफ इन साइट फॉर क्रिएटिविटी टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू आर डिस्कशन विद परेश जी अबाउट फैक्टर्स दैट प्रिवेंट पीपल फ्रॉम बींग फाइनेंशियली सिक्योर फॉर रिटायरमेंट परेश शाह एज यू नो इज द सी ई ओ ऑफ परेश शाह फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज ही इज अ सर्टिफाइड फाइनेंशियल प्लानर एंड वेल्थ स्ट्रेटेजिस्ट ही हैज सर्व फॉर लास्ट ट्वेंटी individuals and businesses co-create innovative financial strategies he is a licensed cpe presenter uh, he has educated cpas as they guide their clients on investments life disability and long term care insurance parish specializes in pension and profit sharing plans asset protection estate planning and business succession planning parish graduated as a chemical engineer honors graduate from the prestigious indian institute of technology at kharagpur india He is a 2016 honoree for Long Island Business News Leaders in Diversity Awards. He resides in the town of Hicksville in Long Island and uh, he has his wife Shimul and uh, their son Shamik living with him and I have uh, the pleasure of welcoming Parish ji to Money and Prosperity again today. Namaskar. Thank you. Thank you Ashok ji for the warm welcome. And how are you sir? I'm doing very well. Thank you. but you you share some stimulating thoughts and certain data that we know yet we do not pay attention on them the way you do so last time you were talking about retirees and the problem or potential problem which is related to longevity inflation etc so and i also remember this statistics was new for me that there are um, over 60000 americans who uh, have crossed 100 So, hundred to not out is not the only one movie. There are many hundred plus not outs here in America. So, now uh, talk to us a little bit more about this whole scenario from the point of view of retirement planning. Uh, the Ashok ji, the challenge has become that as we spoke last time that life after retirement, which was previously about a ten years, uh, has now become thirty to thirty-five years, and therefore the pool of money that a person saves. has to extend has to last to give them income not just 10 years but almost 30 to 35 years this is caused the the problem with 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 this is that there are so many factors which otherwise may not have affected planning like like we talked about inflation last time and how inflation over a 10 year period only affects that uh, the amount of income you need goes up only by about 35% that means one third you need 100000 you need 100 130000 uh, 135000 but when you're talking about 35 years that 100000 need at the end of it we need you need 300000 because of the compounding effect of that 3% every year and so the 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 the, the longevity which is a boon a science has given us longer life causes these types of stress on any financial plan and therefore we say that longevity compounds the effect of of any any such problems you know the, let, let's learn a little bit more about it from you uh, parish in terms of the other factors that you you have in mind uh, and how longevity compounds uh, the challenges um, uh, yeah So let's just uh, take an easy example, and this is um, I'm taking round numbers deliberately just to just so that you can we can have a a, an, a conversation that can be easily understood. You know, um, person retires in the year 2000. He's going to get social security income. He may be getting a pension. After all is said and done, he feels that he needs fifty thousand dollars more of income. from the pool of money that he saved now let's say that pool of money is 1 million dollars if he put that money into the bank the bank would give him 5% interest on it at that time so a million dollars would produce 50000 dollars every year he would keep taking out the 50000 his million is secure and he can continue to get that money now let's say he put it in a 5 year cd like you you know that there is 5 years of lock in 2005 he renews that cd for another 5 years he is comfortable inflation has gone up a little bit but yet he he keeps himself in check so he is fine 
come 2010 that that cd is up for renewal now and at renewal in 2010 if you remember the interest rate on 5 year cd was only 1% so now instead of a $50,000 income he's getting only a $10,000 income so that 10,000 is insufficient so he has to draw into capital now when he has to draw into capital that normally causes stress in any senior's mind so as you can see from this example if we go back to let's say to the 65 or 70 when a person lived for 10 or 15 years after retirement you see that the chance of this type of problem happening is not 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 much even after 10 years of getting 5 percent he let's say that person retired at 65 and he's 75 even if he draws a little into principle, he is not worried because end of life is near. But now with end of life appearing at 95 and him having to draw into principle, he gets worried. So longevity has caused the effect of the in interest rate changes to affect the lives of seniors. These factors which were never coming into play are now coming more and more into play when we are doing retirement planning. But what you have described just now, this scenario looks like there is no way to overcome this potential uh, crunch of uh, finances when you need them. So stock market, earlier also you talked about it a little bit. Um, stock market risk, how one can overcome it in terms of uh, financial planning? Um, some, something on those lines if there are some tips or uh, safeguards that may protect people. Yeah. So, uh, Ashokji, as, as, <coughs> as we have known that normally the investments in the stock market produce higher return than those in the fixed income market or in banks, etc. So now, if you take that factor into account, now you find that, well, seniors normally would like security and peace of mind. And so they do not invest in the stock market. But now they are faced with a new problem. The new problem is that they need more income in order to be able to sustain that rate of return or that income in retirement. So they are forced to and at times tempted to go towards the investment of the stock market. Now stock market as you know is volatile. That means that the prices go up, prices go come down. And it doesn't mean that the returns are steady. So that can have a very negative effect on, on, on any investment. Now, you know, one might say that, well, you know, over a long period of time, the stock market averages itself out and you get 7 to 8% return. But that may not be necessarily the case for a senior's portfolio. And um, I'm going to take a bit of a mathematical example. It's a little complex, but I would really like to run it so that this concept of why stock market investment is a very difficult way to plan for retirement and how longevity creates these issues is explained to, to our viewers, you know. Um, let us say somebody has $100,000, okay, and he invests in the stock market, $100,000. Let's say the stock market gives in first year 8% return and he needs 8%, so he takes out the 80000 Now in second year, if it if, uh, if it again gives 8%, he'll again take out 80,000. So he might think that he's able to take out 80,000 every year. But now, let us see what really happens. It really happens is that in the first year, the market might give 12%. So he'll go to 112,000. He'll take out his 8,000. The market is at 104, uh, he, his account is at 104,000. Now let's say he gets 4%, he's back to 108 and he takes out his 8,000, he's fine. But if the reverse happens, that means let's say in first year it's minus 12%. 100 becomes 88. He takes out his 8,000 because he needs that. Right. Right. Now it's the balance is only $80,000. Even if he gets 20% return, he does not hit back to 100%. He needs a 25% return to get back to 100. Now, I know these numbers are a little complex, Ashokji, but having said that, it's just very important to understand that the sequence of returns can really, really affect retirement. And therefore, investment in the stock uh, market. Yeah, I'm very impatient right now because what you're saying, 
it somehow trickles down and gives the impression that it is likely to happen. It would surely happen, it is not necessary. But if this happens, and as you using 20%, 25%, what you have given is a scenario where one can clearly imagine that what you need, you don't have it. Basically, exactly. That is the exactly. Thing. So that how is to address this. Yes. So, uh, let us, I, I can give you a simple example. A simple example may be that maybe you divide the money across several different instruments. You take a person's money and you create a overall global plan. That is what we do as financial planners. And in that we divide the money over some investments which are these high rates of income investments. Then we can do some, uh, some investments which are low risk like the ones in the bank, etc. So let us say that the stock market comes down. Then you re remove from these fixed income investments. But if it's up, you can remove from there. That way you can have a balancing done each year and select where you want to remove the money from. That is the goal. You form one base of gigs guaranteed income and then you form some additional extra superlative returns based on the stock market. That is the best way to probably do it. But again, each case is individual. We as planners will go to every client individually, assess what they require and try to come up with the best possible numbers. So the best possible number is needed. And in order for me to share with you the best possible number, uh, the number where you can reach uh, financial professional Paresha is 516-268-3446. Am I right? Sorry. So on that uh, right note, uh, wishing all the right things to happen for you. Thank you very much, uh, Pariji, for joining us. Thank you, Ashokji. Really appreciate all the questions and the, and, and the show and being on the show. So we look forward to uh, sitting with you again in the next episode of Money and Prosperity. Till then.